This is a trap out that we're doing on a house out in the country, or excuse me, a cut out that we're doing on a building out in the country. Tommy's up there smiling at the bees and smiling at the camera. They're in between the chimney and another brick wall behind it. So it's going to be somewhat ticklish getting them out, but we're going to work at it. We'll be back with you shortly. No, it's uh, that's they're doing. He's pulling out a section of comb right now that there's nothing in it. It's black, so it's apparently last year's comb. There's nothing in it. Been here quite a few years, apparently. But you can see them there up inside the brick wall. Come look at the different sizes of the holes. You can see the, you the see smaller how, comb, the smaller holes. Did y'all see the other piece of wax I cut out? Mm -hmm, the clean piece. How light it was. Mm -hmm. Is this it right here? No, they've got it over there. Yeah. I think. Okay. Feel the difference. Feel the weight. This is hard and heavy. Oh, wow. Now, why is that? Just because it's small, The small cells are bees. Worker bees. Worker bees. The big ones are for drones or males to start breeding to produce some males to supersede the queen or for them to swarm or something. You never know half the time. When they go, when they start roaring, you can, they're flapping their wings, they're fanning, trying to get the smoke out of the house. You can see the comb up inside the chim behind the chimney. There's not much room for videoing, but there's several layers there, and we don't know how far in it goes. It's very large. Hive, and I'm going to get out of the way with the camera mm -hmm. so Tommy can get back up there. Tommy's back up the ladder smoking them, try to calm them down a little bit so he can cut out another ch section of the comb. No. Hmm? No. I can't. Uh -uh. No smoke, no indication of anything coming out the other side of the chimney. And the bees are starting to get a little bit aggressive and stirred up because it's warming up and we're invading their privacy. <laughs> Tommy's brave. He doesn't want to wear a bee suit or a veil. I swore I'd never smoke. <laughs> And there you are smoking them. He's having to hold a small light so he can see up inside the chimney to try to reach as much of it as he can to cut it out. Another section of old comb. Continue it again later. This is turning out to be a very tough cutout. There's very limited room behind the chimney between it and another brick wall to reach up in there and get the comb. And Tommy's having to work with just a hive tool to cut it out and a, a butcher knife and then a small hand light because there's no room to get anything else up in there. So we'll keep you posted to the progress. This is some of the comb scrapings out of the hive that we're unable to get to. Tommy is still up there trying to get it out, but it's behind a chimney between it and another brick wall, I can't even touch the which he's unable to reach reaching in that far. He still can't touch the other side of it, and there's no access to get to it anyway 
we go other than tearing the chimney down which obviously you would not want to do so we're going to remove everything we can and then unfortunately have to deal with them accordingly and do what we got to do see you later I'm checking out leftovers after a hive removal. Three buckets of comb. I don't know what's down in the bed of the truck, but they're on something. And there's two uh, vacuum traps with bees. I'm gonna pull those out, look and see what they got in. These two big buckets here are really heavy, so I'm <clears throat> guessing there's a bunch of honey in them, but. I see a bunch of insulation and trash too, so it probably was not uh, salvageable. I'm guessing that's why they're letting the bees have it back. They're giving this bucket a good working over. I moved the truck the bees were in, which was red, and they don't know where I went, so they're clustering on the next red vehicle. They're going in the back of this truck. Still thriving. Both of them, I think, are about sending their bees. Uh oh. This one here didn't fare so well. Bees poop, but they don't usually do it in the air. They're usually stationary landing on something when they do. And that's what all these little mustard looking spots are. What I'm doing right now though, is those bees from that cutout. I'm fixing to combine with this hive. They didn't have anywhere to go. There's no queen on them. Really not a whole lot of them left, but I'm gonna combine them anyway. Take you a penny pincher or some kind of sale paper and spread it out. You don't want to use a regular newspaper because they start reading the obituaries and the horoscopes and they get depressed. Put that on there where it kind of seals off between the, the two boxes. Take a pocket knife and poke a couple of holes where they can start working their way through it. It's late, it's cold, it's drizzling out here. I stick the lid on it with a little prop under the edge of it so that they can get out tomorrow. I'll leave them like that for several days and then I'll come back here and take that top box off and there'll be one colony. 